Hi everybody, so this is a quick tutorial on how to import PowerPoints onto the iPad for use in GoodNotes. Um, as I've been playing more around with GoodNotes, I'm realizing that this is probably one of the most powerful, pe powerful features of GoodNotes um, in uh, contrast to the Microsoft Whiteboard. Um, the Whiteboard might be better for everybody uh, for projecting their screen during a live class. Uh, but GoodNotes seems like it has more capabilities for uh, creating a, a prepackaged video. Um, so to do this, uh, the easiest way to get a PowerPoint onto the iPad is through AirDrop. So if you don't know, make sure your AirDrop is on. Um, it's down under General, AirDrop, and it's got to be contacts only or everyone. If you're just airdropping to yourself, obviously you are one of your own contacts. Um, so then you'll go onto your computer, which I have next to me, and we'll just use my GeoDay talk as an example. Um, and we can just put that, oh, one sec here. We'll just put that into the airdrop thing, and momentarily it should be showing up. There it is. Um, and then you can decide where that file goes. Um, so if the PowerPoint is completely how you want it for GoodNotes and you don't want to do any modifications to it while it's on the iPad, uh, you can just hit GoodNotes, as you can see, like five down from the top, and it will go straight into GoodNotes, super easy, um, very self-explanatory. Um, but if you think that it's something that you may want to edit later or if there's some uh, editing that you might want to do on the iPad, it's probably best to put it into the files. Um, so then you can access it from any of these apps at a later date. Um, so I'm going to click files here. Um, I'll put it on my iPad and since it's a PowerPoint, I'll put it in the PowerPoint folder. Um, I'll hit save here and then here it is. So this is how it looks just in the Files app. So you can scroll through it vertically or horizontally, or I think just vertically, actually. I don't know. Um, but you can't edit it in any way. Um, so I'm going to exit here and go over to GoodNotes. Opening that up, I'll hit New and then Import. Once I've imported, there's nothing on the iCloud drive. I'll go to locations on my iPad, PowerPoint, one item, this presentation. So here it goes. Now it's importing uh, the PowerPoint. And once this is done, which may take a minute, um, then it will show up on the GoodNotes app. OK, so here it is. Um, you can just scroll through it like normal. Um, but you can also uh, use any of these tools. Um, so right now, I've selected the laser pointer. So I can just circle, like, look at these plants. Those are different than these plants, or something along those lines. Um, you can draw all over it. Um, you can zoom in. So. Let's see, let's go to the pen. Um, let's just like, ooh, here's a primary vein, a secondary vein, and then these are the tertiary veins right in here. Um, you could use that. You could um, open up this guy here, move this somewhere convenient, and write the equation of <laughs> y equals mx plus b because that's what we're using as an example. Um, zoom back out and go to a different part and just mark it up however you want. You can use the shape tool and circle something um, and that'll make the circles nice or a rectangle or that was a bad rectangle. There you go. Um, so you can add all these shapes. You could even bring in a photo and put that on top or 
add a text box and type into there. Um, so all of the capabilities that I showed in the previous video on how to use GoodNotes are viable. You'll just have this PowerPoint as a background. Um, and then, yeah, you can save it. You can um, have this open in one tab, as you see up here on the top. Um, and then you can go to a different tab that's just a blank whiteboard, easy enough. And you can have these easy, uh, easy to switch between. Um, and uh, you can just kind of keep going from there. Um, so yeah, that is a selection of all the different options that you've got here. Um, I hope you enjoyed. <laughs>